Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Saturday, July the 28th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 139, Joshua chapter 23, verse 1 through 16, and Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 1, 3 and 4, 9 and 10, and 12. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, my God, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. Alleluia. Psalm 139. My God, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down, and all my ways are open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it through and through. Behind and before you besiege me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me and the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. For it was you who created my being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. Already you knew my soul. My body held no secret from you when I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw all my actions. They were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being. To me, how mysterious are your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I counted them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. Keep me away from violent hands. With deceit, they rebel against you and set your designs at naught. Do I not hate those who hate you and abhor those who rise against you? They are foes to me. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path, and lead me in the path of life eternal. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. My God, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Joshua, chapter 23, beginning at verse 1. A long time afterward, when Yahweh had given rest to Israel from all their enemies, all around, and Joshua was old and well advanced in years, Joshua summoned all Israel, their elders and heads, their judges and officers, and said to them, I now am old and well advanced. And you have seen all that Yahweh your God has done to all these nations for your sake. For it is Yahweh your God who has fought for you. I have allotted to you as an inheritance for your tribes, those nations that remain, along with all the nations that I have already cut off, from the Jordan to the great sea in the west. And Yahweh your God will push them back before you and drive them out of your sight, and you shall possess their land, as Yahweh your God promised you. Therefore, be very steadfast to observe and do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, turning aside from it neither to the right nor to the left, so that you may not be mixed with these nations left here among you, or make mention of the names of their gods, or swear by them, or serve them, or bow yourselves down before them. But hold fast to Yahweh your God as you have done to this day, for Yahweh has driven out before you 
great and strong nations. And as for you, no one has been able to withstand you to this day. One of you puts to flight a thousand, since it is Yahweh your God who fights for you, as he promised. Be very careful, therefore, to love Yahweh your God, for if you turn back and join the survivors of these nations left here among you, and intermarry with them, so that you marry their women and they yours, know assuredly that Yahweh your God will not continue to drive out these nations before you, but they shall be a snare and a trap, a scourge on your sides and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from this good land that Yahweh your God has given you. And now I am about to go the way of all the earth, and you know in your hearts and souls, all of you, that not one thing has failed of all the good things that Yahweh your God promised concerning you. All have come to pass, not one of them have failed. But just as all the good things that Yahweh your God promised concerning you have been fulfilled for you, so Yahweh will bring upon you all the bad things until he has destroyed you from this good land that Yahweh your God has given you. If you transgress the covenant of Yahweh your God, which he enjoined on you, and go and serve other gods and bow down to them, then the anger of Yahweh will be kindled against you, and you shall perish quickly from the good land that Yahweh has given you. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Today we especially remember the victims and their families of the Colorado theater shooting in Aurora, Colorado. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation under your care. Guide us in the way of justice and peace. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Alleluia! Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak. Let earth hear the words of my mouth. Alleluia! A canticle from the book of Deuteronomy. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak. Let earth hear the words of my mouth, for I proclaim the name Yahweh. The rock, your work is perfect, and all your ways are just. A faithful God without deceit, just and upright are you. Your own portion was your people, Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, your allotted share. You sustained them in a desert land, in a howling wilderness waste. You shielded them, cared for them guarded them as the apple of your eye. You alone guided them, no foreign god was with them. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak. Let the earth hear the words of my mouth. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing for, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.